work as a police officer here in Brookhaven. And behind me, I got the super new police car. And bro, this car is looking really, really fast. So I'm quite excited to be starting to patrol around with this vehicle. So let's get to start our little police patrol here. And yo, dude, this is looking really, really cool. Yo, bro, somebody literally just robbed the grocery store. Okay, let's go and turn on the emergency lights and the sirens. Yo, man, we're gonna chase this dude down. What? Dude, how stupid can it be? You robbed the grocery store right in front of a police officer and not just a regular police officer, a police officer in a supercar. Come on, man, what are you doing? Okay, well, let's gonna slowly but surely catch up to him. You know what? I think I'm gonna intercept him. So let's gonna go here, this way, and boom! No, dude, I shouldn't have laid up on a gas. Uh-oh, I kind of messed that up. Okay, that's my fault. And where's this guy going? I'm not really sure. He's uh, driving really, really long stretches here. Okay, let's gonna try to intercept him. Oh, he's going for the jam! Bro, I kind of spun out there. No, bro, is he getting away? I don't know, man. We can't let this criminal get away. So let's go, let's go, let's go. And bro, he just fell through the hole there. Okay, I was gonna go down here. And where is his car now? I think we gotta take this route now. And yo, I think I see his vehicle. Bro, he's burning and he's running on foot. Okay, I was gonna drive over to him. And bro, and, oh, dude, we're in the middle of a shootout. Let's go shoot, 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 shoot. And bro, is he getting away? Oh man, I think I got him. I got him. I got him. Okay, uh, let's gonna put this guy in cuffs real quick. Holy cow, dude. That was so intense. Okay, follow me, sir. Get in my car. Get in my car. And his vehicle, was it burning? I think it's burning, dude. Let's gonna put out the fire first. We can't let this vehicle sit behind the motel and burn because, yeah, maybe the whole motel will stop burning and that's not good, man. Maybe there's a lot of people living in the motel. So that would be like a super, super safety risk. But yeah, we just caught the criminal and we are just gonna bring him over to the police station and get this guy arrested. And yeah, let's go ahead and turn off the emergency lights. We are not gonna need those anymore. And let's gonna bring him into a cell. Ah, uh, which cell should we go for? We can go for cell number two to begin with. There we go. I'm feeling like we're gonna be arresting a whole lot of criminals today. Enjoy, sir. Have fun in jail. Ah, oh, man. Okay, so that was the first criminal of today. And yes, I do got the job equipped and I do got a phone on me. So if anybody's gonna need any help, they will be able to call me because I am gonna save Brookhaven today. That is gonna be my mission to make sure that Brookhaven is a nice and safe place today. Uh, yeah, we can basically just gonna continue on our little police patrol here and see what's going on here in the city. So let's gonna drive up towards this neighborhood and see if anything is nice and safe. Okay, everything is looking nice and safe. So let's gonna continue over to the next neighborhood and see if everything is good there as well. And bro, do I see some illegally parked vehicles here? Not to be like a traffic cop, but yeah, you're not supposed to park vehicles here. So let's gonna take this bike. Oh, okay, so it's actually unlocked. We are just gonna drive it over here to the parking garage and park it right there. And we should probably go ahead and fix the other vehicles. And bro, I just heard an explosion. What's going on here, dude? What, dude? Did somebody just rob the bank truck? Uh, what's going on here, dude? Let's go chase after this bank truck. What, dude? Okay, so somebody literally just robbed the bank truck. That's not cool at all, man. And, bro, these trucks transport, like, a whole ton of money. So, yeah, we gotta be a bit of catch this criminal right here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Holy cow, where's it going? Uh oh I just took the wrong way. Well, we can drive up here again. There we go. And should I try and pit his truck? Ah, uh, I don't know, dude. Should we really go for the pit? Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. And, dude, it just did a jump right there. Let's go, let's go try and pit him. And, bro, it kind of worked, actually. Nice. And let's go try and catch up to him. And bro, it just lost a tire. Okay, so the people do it definitely work. Should we try and go for it again? Yeah, I think we have to go for it again, guys. Okay, let's go drive up here and get the head start. And oh, dude, this truck is smoking now. And dude, it just lost another wheel. Okay, we're just gonna keep on following him. And what is he doing now? I don't know, man. And the truck is now burning. Okay, let's go jump out and get the shield up. Okay, there we go. You can't shoot me, criminal. I got the shield. I got the shield. And he's running up the mountain. Okay, let's go bring the car up to the mountain and get closer to the criminal because he was running up the mountain here. And where is this guy? Oh, he's standing right there. Okay, let's gonna drive past him a little bit. There we go. And we gotta get the shield. We gotta get the shield. Surrender, criminal. There's no way you can get out of here. I surrender. Okay, drop your gun. There we go. He got his hands up. Let's gonna go in for the cuffs. And boom. There we go. We just handcuffed the criminal. Okay, and we can't forget that the truck was actually burning. So we gotta drive back down and put out the truck fire before that burns down this hole entire mountain right here.
right here. A lot of car fires today, but I guess that is what kind of happens when you're in intense chases. So let's gonna put down this fire right here. There we go. Okay, the fire is gone. Let's gonna jump into the car right here and yeah, bring this criminal over to the police station where it belongs, dude. He deserves to be behind bars. All right, man. I was really not expecting anybody to rob the bank truck. Like, holy cow. That is like, yeah, that's a, that's like a mission impossible, dude. What is this guy doing? I don't know. We can go to turn off the emergency lights though and bring this guy into cell number one. I think we're gonna bring him into this cell and yeah, that's cell number one. Have fun, sir. Enjoy jail. Can I keep my mushroom at? Yeah, of course. And bro, I'm getting a call. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna head over to the call. So what was he asking if we could keep his mushroom at? I don't care if you're wearing the mushroom app. Just stop robbing places. Anyways, I'm getting a call. Let's go to head over to this caller right here and she's standing on the side of the road. Hey, what's wrong, man? What's wrong? Okay, so she literally just jumped into the car. Uh, yeah, she looks like a kid, dude. Should we bring her over to her parents? Oh, somebody else is calling me? Why are so many kids calling me? Okay, man, where's your parents? Should I just bring her over to the daycare or school? I don't really know. Okay, so this is the school. You can go over to the school here. This is probably where you belong. I don't really know, dude. She's calling me, but she's not really answering me. Why am I getting, like, impossible detective work here? I don't really know. Can you please tell me why did you call? And bro, she's talking another language. I don't understand that language, ma'am. Holy cow. This is like impossible for me to figure out. I don't know. I guess I can just go ahead and drop them off at school and keep on my police patrol because this doesn't even make any sense. And why are people jumping inside of my car? Who are all of these people? Yo, bro. Can I just do my police patrol alone? I don't know, dude. People are just jumping into my car. <laughs> okay, there we go. We're back in the police cruiser so let's gonna continue our police patrol all righty we can go up towards this neighborhood right here and see what's going on okay we do got some party lights are those elite oh dude the food mart has been robbed uh oh that's right by the gas station i think so let's gonna turn on the emergency lights and sirens and respond to this call and uh, let's see i can't really see anybody oh dude he's right there bro and he's on a segway what is he doing on a segway and he's shooting at me holy cow dude this guy is crazy i don't know what to do i don't know what to do should i get a segway myself and equip the shield i guess i can okay let's gonna get the segway there we go i got the segway i got the segway let's go change the speed there we go and we're gonna have the shield up so he doesn't shoot me there we go i'm chasing after this guy in a segway bro we got a segway police chase give up bro beast you're not getting away from me how are you so fast because I changed the speed and I'm a police officer, so I'm way smarter than a stupid criminal like you. So, <laughs> dude, we're just chasing him now. Okay, okay, stop. Yeah, show me your ass. Show me your ass, dude, and get off the Segway. There we go. Okay, show his ass and it's off the Segway. Okay, let's well, gonna put this guy in cuffs real quick and we should probably go ahead and get another police cruiser. There we go. Jump inside of the police cruiser, dude, and let's gonna bring this guy over to the police station. Holy cow, that was such a weird chase. Okay, really, really weird patrol day here in Brookhaven, but I don't really mind it, though. We are catching all the criminals here in Brookhaven, so we're doing a really, really stable job today, and, bro, it's been action-packed from the start to finish. Okay, get in there, stupid criminal. Boom. Okay, we just got that criminal arrested, and you know what? Should we maybe do a little bit of a police patrol? And why is this dude crashing into my police cruiser? Yo, stop, man! Why are you doing that, bro? Why are you crashing into my police cruiser? I don't really know. Uh, that is an agency car, by the way, so the agencies shouldn't really be doing that stuff to the police officers. I thought we were supposed to work together and somebody is coming up to me and I don't understand what that is, dude. Can people start talking English here in Brookhaven, please? I don't understand all of these different languages. But yeah, guys, that was a pretty hectic police patrol here in Brookhaven, but definitely a fun one. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed this one and if you did, make sure to hit the like, subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.